Hello and welcome back to our next video in our series on how to use Excel Draw to create your very own CAD style drawings. Now in the last video we created the objects that you see on screen right now using the object tab right up here. And today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can export this data into another CAD viewer. So let's say that you have your data right here and you want to export it. All your export options right there. The first one we're going to be looking at is a CAD DXF. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click that. And it's going to bring up our export window right here. So what you do, you select your folder. That, and then a drawing, a name for your drawing. So drawing preview DXF, that's fine. And we're going to hit export. It says right here, we've already exported the document. And would you like to go ahead and open it? and hit yes. And there we have it. So now we have our CAD style drawing that we created in Microsoft Excel inside of AutoCAD TrueView. See right here, we can zoom in, we can rotate. And something that is great about Excel Draw is every new sheet that you make is a brand new drawing. So you can have an infinite amount of drawings on one Excel document as you need. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new sheet right here and I'm going to add in some Z values. So I'll be right back. Let me add in some values here. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have the values included. We have X1, Y1, and Z1. So these are our starting points. And then X2, Y2, and Z2. Those are the end points. And I have some rectangles made up right here. And if I want to have Z values included in all my data, I'm going to need to go up to my settings tab. And right here, Z values included, I'm going to want to have that selected. That will tell Excel Draw that we are including Z values. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to graph whatever the shape is. So in this case, it's rectangles. And whenever this populates, you're going to see that the rectangles are going to be stacked on top of one another because the Z values are all the same. Sorry, not the Z values. So the X and Y values are all the same on it. So it's going to look like they're stacked up. And to be able to view this, I'm going to go up to graph orientation. Bring this over here. And I'm going to rotate this, and then you'll go, you are going to be able to see all the different squares that we made. Okay, and I'm going to show you the exactly the same thing with the circles. So I have some circles made up right here. And how circles are laid out, they are in the same orientation they would be in CAD, where you have the x value, y value, z value, and then the x2 spot is actually the radius. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these and then I'm going to go up to circle. And as you can see we now have a new circles added in. Let's zoom out on here, rotate this around so we can see it. And there we have it. Go ahead and export this just to make sure. So CAD DXF export. We're going to select a folder, test export, and let's name this one circles. And export. Okay, and there we have that. Let's go ahead and move this up here so we can see it. And there we have a three dimensional drawing exported into CAD using Excel Draw. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this video has helped you. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead, leave a comment down below. Let me know. We'd love to hear from you all. If you did like this video series and you'd like to see the next video, go ahead, subscribe to our channel. You'll be notified of all the videos going up. And thank you very much for watching. Go ahead, like the video, Give us a subscribe and let us know what's going on in the comments. Thank you all very much for watching.